Hi, this is Career Services at Flathead Valley Community College, and I'm excited to be talking with you today about quick tips on video interviewing. Some basics to get you started. Video interviews can be between you and one person representing an employer or more than one person, or you can be answering pre-recorded questions and submitting those to the employer. One of the challenging things about being on a video is that we want to look at the people on the screen and make eye contact, when really that means we need to look into our cameras. I put a little post-it note with a smiley face below my camera to remind myself to look into the camera and of course to smile, hopefully in a natural way. Feel free to practice in the mirror to be sure you're coming across as your authentic self. A little smiling always helps break the ice as well. In this time of Zoom, sometimes we find ourselves dressing professionally just from the top up. During an interview situation, keep in mind that you should dress professionally for the position from top to bottom, even down to the shoes. It will help you feel more professional. And if there should be a distraction that you absolutely have to run to, attend to, uh, you'll be ready to do that. Be aware of color and patterns that you may wear. You'll want to wear a color you enjoy and feel good in, although I'd suggest steering clear of distracting patterns, as well as solid black or dark colors due to the shadows they cast, or white because it can be hard for the camera to find a balance. You don't want to wear something that's too loud of a color, and you don't want to blend into the background. Really vivid reds can sometimes come across as a bit hazy on camera, and shiny material can also be distracting. That's not saying you can't wear a bright color, but just be aware uh, and do some practicing beforehand and see what those colors look like to you. Be sure you've managed your distractions before you have your interview, whether they be pet, family, uh, cell phones. I keep my phone out of the room, frankly, because I've had a ding at an inappropriate time, even when I was positive I had everything turned off. I also do the same thing by turning off my email notifications because that has also happened to me during meetings. I put my dogs and cats outside of the room because I think we've also all been in the meeting where the cat walks across the screen or the dog barks. If something does happen to interrupt where you absolutely must rush to it, try to be as gracious and quick as possible in taking care of it if it is indeed a, an emergency. Your background. Well, there are Zoom backgrounds that are virtual that can be really cool, but I don't have enough memory in my computer to use them successfully. They end up kind of uh, flashing in and out and getting kind of wavery looking. If one works for you that's professional, great, but be sure you pick one that's not you in a tropical locale or on the moon. You can save those for when you are in less professional situations. Keep in mind that your background is going to be seen as well. So if you can unclutter it, uh, if it happens to be at home, if you can have um, maybe your closet door closed, um, no clothes piles or unmade beds, do your best to make it plain and clean. And if you do have artwork, tasteful, non-distracting artwork, it's fine as long as it's not, uh, not distracting from you because you want the attention to be on you. Pay attention to your lighting. I know in my office, if it's around noon, I have good natural lighting. If not, I'll turn on my overhead light. I have two, so sometimes I might put both, sometimes just one. Be mindful of not putting a light or a window behind you, because often that can give you a sort of halo effect and make it hard for the interviewer to see you. Some things you can do, uh, if you have a smaller table size lamp, you can put it behind the computer screen, like right behind the computer screen instead of right next to you. And that can help or potentially invest in an inexpensive ring light that goes around your screen. Be sure your sound quality is good and you are positioned in a way that doesn't change your sound quality. I found if I move around too much, my sound quality will change. Hopefully the microphone that you have in your computer or headphone unit is fine. If not, you may need to invest in a better microphone and those can be purchased fairly inexpensively. If you do need to use earbuds or you think you might need to, or headphones, have them at the ready. And I think most of us have been on a meeting where the sound ends up not being good. The participants quickly switch to the earbuds or headphones 
test all of that in advance and have them ready to go. Pay attention to your camera angle. You want it to be straight on. You don't want them to be looking up your nose if your laptop is positioned too low. You don't want to have a lot of space above your head and you look too low on the screen or you don't want the top of your head to be cut off. You want it to be straight on. For me, that means putting textbooks underneath my laptop or a weighted box of some sort so it doesn't tip. Experiment with that and see what looks best for you. Keep in mind too that during meetings, we often mute our microphones to cut down on that background noise. During a job interview, since the conversation will fluidly go back and forth, you may not need to do this, but be aware of, of muting quickly if need be. If there are any tech issues, whether it's their tech issues or yours, try to be as gracious as you can and they will remember how you handled that. Lastly, be sure you send an email thank you right away to each person who is on your interview committee or panel. It should be a different email to each person, reflecting back on your experience and what you bring to the table, as well as something positive that struck you and your enthusiasm for the position. When we're not experiencing COVID-19, I'd suggest sending physical thank yous the same day, something nice and tasteful and professional. Personally, I like to use uh, Glacier Park uh, cards because they are beautiful and most of us can relate to them locally. If you have additional questions or you would like to practice interview, please reach out to me. I'd love to talk with you. You can reach me at careers at fvcc.edu. That's careers with an S at fvcc.edu. And I look forward to hearing about your video interview successes. Take care.